Hey guys, it's Andrew back with you here to show off the latest version of SK Lightworks. Um, it's been almost a year since I made the last changes to it, so a lot has happened in that time. Uh, and I guess Rock Band 3 is the biggest one, so now there's an actual application for the software rather than just playing around with the strobe light. So, when you first extract the zip file, um, you're going to see four different executables labeled Kit 1, Kit 2, Kit 3, so on. Um, and depending on what player you have the stage kit set up to, you can actually execute it a little bit differently. So I've got it set up to one. Um, you can run it as, you can actually run all four at the same time, depending on how fast your computer is and uh, things like that. So let's pull this up. Um, you'll see the layout's changed a little bit. We now have an LED pad over on the side. We can click and turn on specific lights. Um, and that also lets us see what's going on on the pad whenever we're doing it, so we don't have to lean over and look into the light. Um, we've got all the old features, the yellow circles, the green circles. Um, I think threading has been improved quite a bit on this version, so it should use the resources a little bit better, and the kill switch actually does uh, end things a little bit faster. Um, random yellows are there, random blues, that sort of thing. Uh, and you'll see a little indicator right next to it that shows which one is currently on. And we can reverse that. And I've also added a new feature called laser, which basically just turns on one at a time. So if we do laser blues, we can just see that one of the blue lights is popping on at a time. Um, the strobe lights have the same indicator next to them. Uh, there's no little indicator over on the side because it's pretty obvious when a big strobe light's on. Um, the fog machine is down here. I'm not going to try that out because I'm actually running out of fluid now. Um, but the biggest improvement is scripting. So I'm going to load up a script. Uh, the files are labeled as um, .sk files. Uh, and you can load them up and it'll just start running through them. So you can see it's all lighting up. Um, if you open up the .sk files in a plain text editor, it will, uh, you can, there's a lot of instructions in this demo one that is included that explains how to write your own scripts. Um, it's pretty basic. Uh, and if you run into any bugs or have any problems, just post on the YouTube video, post on my blog at ajama.org, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and I'll try to help you out with it. And you'll get this little pop-up when it's finished. You click stop. You could also go ahead and loop the script. So if you just want to let it write a little short one, um, don't want to spend a whole lot of time messing with it, you can and just let that run the whole time that you're playing a song. Um, I also have the feature that will let you check for updates. Um, right now we're on version 2.0, so it's all up to date. Uh, I think that should cover everything. Um, if you have any questions, once again, just post on the YouTube video on my blog at ajama.org, and I'll try to get back to you and help you out as much as I can. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the software, and let me know what you think. Thanks.